Welcome to the hottest celebrity. Welcome to the hottest celebrity blog on the internet today. The A list. You like that there? I know you do. I am your host, Tobias Bloodworth the Third, Wes Troop. And starfish do not have brains. This week is a special Mother's Day episode of the A-List. So what better way to celebrate Mother's Day than hitting you off with something I haven't done in a long time. The West Troop Top 5. That's right, I haven't done this in a long time. So, this week's top five, top five MILFs. Yeah, I said it, MILFs. So, uh, let's see, number five would be Naomi Watts. Number four would be Gwen Stefani. Number three would be Christina Aguilera. Number two... Oh, God, who would be number two? Oh, Angelina Jolie. And number one, Jessica Alba. I can just rattle those, keep rattling those off. So anyway, in other news... You hear the lead-in music. Tobey Maguire. Yeah, that's right. Tobey Maguire brought, and his wife brought in their second child. Right in time for Mother's Day. Oh, there's a nice gift for you. <laughs> so, which uh, begs the question for me and my people here. Who would you do first, Mary Jane or Gwen Stacy? That's a good poll question. I'd do them both at the same time. Oh! So, and now on to other stories, because I'm probably in enough trouble right now with Lindsay as it is. Uh, Renee Zellweger has, will be taking a break from her acting career. She's going to put it on uh, the down low, stay on the down low for a little bit. And uh, I say, oh, too bad. So sad. Really? You know what that means. Maybe she'll grow a beard and start rapping or something. <laughs> In other news, Maggie Gyllenhaal got married to a guy that looks like, now you can take this joke any way you want, I got three different ways to take this here. He looks like Mike Knox, or the guy on the brawny paper towels, or Will Tannhauser. Whichever way you want to take it, he looks like a woodsman. So, uh, yeah, he got married to Peter Sarsgaard, and another, who, so there's some more useless knowledge that no one cares about for you. Um, let's see. Pink says, other than recent reports, she claims she is not bisexual. Yeah, I haven't seen a bisexual that looks like that in, uh, ever. Big Bertha claims different Pink. She says you and her hicked up. Um, Sam Ronson's looking for someone, I think. You know, that little boy who's like 14, yeah. He's looking for someone to hook up with, so, you know. <laughs> I, I think you swing both ways. That's what I'm saying, basically. Alright, so. In movie news, Sasha Baron Cohen, while filming a new scene for his movie Bruno, dyed all his body hair blonde to look very natural, and, uh, he had a little problem while dyeing his bunghole. Um,. He had a little bit of pain. He couldn't sit down when he dyed his butthole. So, um, yeah. I don't think he'll do that again because I think he got the point in the end. In Breaking the Law news... This week, Kiefer Sutherland was in a lot of trouble because he disregarded his probation, possibly, when he socked someone in the face. <laughs> nice. Everyone deserves a little slap in the face, right? Ask Chris Brown, he'll tell you. So anyway, 
here for Slenderman and I might be in a little bit of trouble because he might have this week on Idol Watch. We are down to the final three: Adam Lambert, Danny Goki, and Chris Allen. So the girl, Allison Igabiga Booga, was voted off. And uh, so it's so we have a sausage fest in the top three, and Adam enjoys it. <laughs> this week on Dancing with the Stars. Little Kim was voted off in a supposed shocker of an elimination. Wow. Shocker. But, uh, <laughs> that leaves them down to the final four. So you know what that means. These little segments are, um, not gonna be on anymore. <laughs> Idol Watch and, uh, Dancing with the Stars, because they'll soon be over. So, uh, I gotta have to think of time to fill my space. So you might be seeing more of the top fives. Because I need things to fill ten minutes worth of space, and I'm having trouble now. <laughs> I could do what Lindsay advises and talk about Twilight for 10 minutes, but then I wouldn't even have seven views. I'd have one. <laughs> uh, never mind. Anyway, it is now time for this week's box office prediction. The B. O. P. Last week I was correct once again. Wolverine was numero uno. And that makes me 25 and 7. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Not a bad to brag about there, huh? So, uh, this week I obviously have to go with. Hold on, I can do it better with this hand. Star Trek. Live long and prosper. I already saw it. Me and Lindsay saw it. Um, she didn't really care for it. I thought it was a, it was good. Not as good as Star Wars, of course. But uh, it wasn't bad. It wasn't boring. That's a good thing. There was more action into it than more than usual. So that's always a good thing. So, I say Star Trek will be numero uno at the box office. Check it out next week. Check out the A-list. I'll see you all next week. Troop. Out.